Today, we stop by our local Bricks and Minifigs, a Lego resale store. This is Ryan, he's the owner. He sat down with us and filled us in on all the store has to offer. My name is Ryan Lindsner. I'm the owner over here at uh, Bricks and Minifigs of Crest Hill in Illinois. Uh, we've been open since New Year's Day uh, 2018, so we've been open about six months now. Bricks and Minifigs isn't your traditional Lego store. Not only can you buy Lego here, you can also sell or trade in your own stuff. It's on a um, basis of whether it's a new set, used set, or loose pieces, a lot of people have uh, a lot of sets that are basically broken apart, put in a lot of tubs, so we consider that as bulk. Get this, you can even sell them your mocks. Uh, we do always encourage a lot of people to build uh, their own creations or mocks, so my own creations, um, to bring in. Uh, they are Lego uh, bricks and what we do, uh, I personally as well as a lot of other owners um, in the company feel that mocks are art as opposed to just another set. So we do understand that most mocks do um, appreciate more value because they are a custom thing, um, a custom creation from, from an artist or builder. Um, and uh, we like to, to not only acquire them, but help show them off. Uh, we even like to display a lot of them in the stores um, for certain people. We've offered uh, um, to display them with certain name tags and things for people, um, just to kind of help uh, all, all of our customers get their names and stuff out there too as a, as a professional mock builder. Now you may be wondering if it's better to trade in or sell your stuff. The trades, the trades work uh, pretty much the same way as the buys, but the nice thing is um, for the trades you get a lot better value um, for it. So what we usually do is offer around uh, half the market price for the trades. Uh, and what that does is uh, gives you a higher value for, uh, for your sets because you're actually going to be using that as store credit uh, to take other sets from us. And the biggest thing for that for, for us as a store is it helps to create newness by rotating our inventory around. And now for the best part. We do sell our, our Lego product a lot of different ways. We do have our bulk tables. We actually have eight different uh, bulk tables right now for uh, our pieces. We usually fill up every two or three days. As we only do carry Lego product, we don't carry any Mega Block or Tyco bricks or anything else like that. That's right, eight full tables of Lego pieces that you get to dig through. The nice part is they do not price by weight, but rather by bag size. Simply select the bag you want, head over the tables, and start filling it up. This is a great way to pick out pieces to use for a mock, find those extra few parts that you need to part together a set you're working on, or simply just to refill your collection. We also have our uh, new in box sets, which are sets that uh, have never been opened. And then most of those, like I said, are retired, usually between like two and 14 years old. And we also have um, a special thing that we do here is we actually certify some of our sets. So what we do is we actually go through our use sets, verify that they're 100% complete with all the minifigures, stickers, book, um, instruction manuals, um, and everything else of the sort like that. And then we repackage it up either in the original box uh, or an aftermarket box that we carry and then uh, sell them as a, as a nice discounted price off the, the new box, but uh, you still get to put it together. As you may have guessed by the name, the store has a wide assortment of minifigs. And what we do is we actually have um, a lot of different sets of, of minifigures. We have our build your own table, where you actually get to use uh, different legs, torsos, heads, hats, accessories uh, to build your own minifigures and take them home. We have um, our ball figs, which are kind of preset figs, uh, which are basically like uh, policemen, uh, construction workers, stuff like that, um, that we actually put all the accessories together for you. Uh, we also have our case figs, which is basically any of our collectible minifig series. Uh, so there's 18 different series of those. We also have another section where we have uh, miscellaneous figures that are from other sets. So like the Lord of the Rings, the Harry Potter sets, uh, we have figures from all of those as well. And we also import um, some custom printed figures also on Lego pieces, so the quality is still the same. And the fun doesn't stop there. I believe almost all Bricks Minifig stores do do birthday parties. Um, what that is is usually in about an hour and a half, um, sometimes two hours depending on the store um, in length. Um, we also, we actually have uh, a four lane racetrack here in which we, is pretty much just like Pinewood Derby. But uh, what we do is we build them out of Lego with uh, weighted wheel axles um, that we get. And uh, we do actually have a time gate, so we do actually have competitions and stuff like that as, as well, um, including our derby nights on Wednesdays. And, uh, but the birthday parties, we do those. We have our zip line that the, the kids like to uh, build little contraptions and stuff and run down the zip line and break into, break into walls. Uh, we do offer um, all of our paper products and everything else as part of it, um, as well as one or two party hosts for most of the parties. 
Uh, we do also um, do special events, so it doesn't have to, have to be a birthday party, it could be a family reunion, it could just be a hangout. Um, we've had some people offer just to uh, come in and do some builds um, in here together as groups. So uh, we pretty much offer this space to anybody and luckily we have uh, about an 800 square foot space here uh, that can fit easily 40 if not 60 people in here. So. Most important, where can we find these bricks and minifigs? Right now, I believe we have uh, roughly around 40 stores nationwide. Uh, we also have one up in uh, St. John's, Canada. Uh, we do have a lot of stores on the West Coast. I think it's around 20 stores right now on the West Coast. Um, but they are kind of popping up a little bit everywhere. I know just recently we opened up an Anaheim, uh, California store, um, Boston, Massachusetts, and Detroit. So a lot of stores are popping up in a lot of major cities right now. So look for us soon. <laughs> No age restrictions. Uh, just just like Lego, uh, there you could be you could be six months old, you could be 90 years old. A falls, T falls, we're we're about everybody. So yeah, and you can find more information at our uh, Facebook page. Uh, it's www.facebook.com/bamjoliet. That's B-A-M Joliet. Um, we're also on Instagram as well. You can search us up there. Um, and then our company website is www.bricksandminifigs.com. A big thanks for Ryan for making time to meet with us. Let us know if you've ever been to a Bricks and Minifigs and what your experience was like there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.